Hey, what's up? It's Umar here from Grumpy OGs up against Victoria's Secret and another girl I cannot pronounce in G3 Siege. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This video is going to have a couple of blurry clips. I'm sorry for that in advance. Now, let's go ahead and check out the rankings here. We are rank 31. And then we have the guild that I cannot pronounce in rank 11. And then we have Victoria's Secret in rank 21. Okay, not too bad. Pretty fair matchmaking, I guess. Now, they're running these Miang Cichlid Gregos as well as... An LD tower right there. Then they have a Giselle tower right here. At least Giselle for the most part. Then we have a Wusa Odin Kinky for this one. Another LD tower here. And for the last one, we're going to have a Miang tower. For the first attack, we're going to hit this Carcano Shazam Celia with Josephine, Wendy, and Camilla. I did put some minus light on the Josephine just because she's a little bit squishy on the defense end. But I think we should be fine for the most part. Let's go ahead and see how this one plays out. This is right as I started traveling, so I think I was able to record like maybe one or two attacks. We get slept, perfect. We're going to take a turn. Nice, we're going to go for the strip. No strip onto the Carcano. Okay, they have the revenge buff. Two stuns though. Right here, I was just trying to do a little bit of damage to the Celia. But we definitely want to get rid of the Carcano first. We don't want to deal with those defense breaks. Because they might hit a little bit hard. We're going to do some damage there. We get slept. Nice, we're going to do some damage to the Carcano. We get defense broken. Not that great. Okay, can we land a freeze? No freeze. No stun either. They're going to heal up a little bit, unfortunately. We proc out of the sleep again. I feel like the passive is up just about all the time. At least in this match. We're going to keep focusing the Carcano here. Okay, that Celia is doing a good chunk of damage. Nice stun there. And we get another stun. Perfect. We're getting this Carcano really low. We don't land the freeze though. We're going to use skill 2 here for now. We get slept. We don't have the passive up. I decided to go for the Shazam. Try to get the reset on him. Freeze. Nice freeze. We're going to keep working onto the Carcano. If we can get rid of the Carcano, we should be fine. He gets healed up again though. And it's going to make it a little bit longer. Now this Josephine might actually go down here. Pretty sketchy. We have Pyramage saying hi Mario Big Fan. Okay, nice proc there. Not enough damage to kill this Carcano though. He is pretty tanky. This Josephine might die here. Nice, we proc the passive. And we kill the Carcano. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and speed it up now. Now, even if she somehow dies here, I think we should be fine. It's just going to take a lot longer. Hopefully, she doesn't die. Okay, nice. We get the stuns onto the Celia. We're going to try to get rid of her first since she is a little bit on the lower end. Every time she keeps doing that, we're going to get a turn. Hopefully she doesn't get healed up. She gets healed up, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just rinse and repeat. Try to kill them before they proc too much. And that's it. First one secured. GG's. Don't forget to share your replays. It helps your guildies out. Whether you think it does or not, it does. Now for the next one, we're going to hit this Heinz Lumet Vigor. Pretty old defense with Myrne, Dova Lucian. As long as we can outspeed here, we should be safe. The Dova isn't on the fastest set. But I don't think that the Lumet is going to be on Swift. That's pretty rare nowadays. Okay, we're going to use the skill 3, boost up the Lucian, and we should be able to wipe this clean. Alright, nice. GG's. For this next one, we're going to hit this Carcano Craig and Theo with Ayunu, Samath, and Perna. I think we should be fine here as that Craig is going to decrease their own HP, making it a little bit easier to snipe. Okay, there he goes. Now they are probably going to kill the Samath. We're going to do some damage here. Okay, decent amount. We're going to go for Carcano. We don't kill him. We're going to go for the Theo. Can we kill? Okay, perfect. We landed the Oblivion. We killed the Carcano and it's a 2v1. And we should be safe here with the Perna heals. I can't remember if this was at the first airport or at the second one. It might have been at the second one in between flights. But yeah, whenever I had a chance to hit, I was going for my hits and we get another win. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Clara, Theo, and Leona with Feng Yan, Tetra, and Leo. If you guys haven't seen my recent video, I highly recommend you check it out with the scam stone summons. Pretty insane. But we did put some minus water, minus dark on them just to be safe. All right, we're going to hit this Claire here. We do get the pushback. Perfect. We're going to just work into the steel for now. I think we're going to target him first. He does seem pretty squishy. The Leona shouldn't be able to do too much without a defense break. We do proc the Theo's passive here. He's going to go for the Feng Yan. But we're able to tank it no problem. We're going to use skill 2 just to be safe. Nice proc. We secure the kill onto the Theo. 
Now it's a 3v2 and at this point we should be safe. Even though the Clara has a skill 2 defense break, I don't think the Leona's going to hit too hard to be honest. What do you guys think about Leona? Do you think she's good or do you think she needs a buff? I think she needs a buff. On defense she's not the best. She might be pretty fun to use on offense. She might actually be a solid pick on offense. Now for this next one we're going to hit this Miang, Cichlid and Grego. We are going to use Triana, Royd and Cha Cha. Really safe team. I did put minus dark on them just to be safe here. Usually have them on minus light since we hit a lot of those light defenses. But this time we're putting some minus dark on them. And we should be safe unless they proc like crazy. So we are going to speed it up. These teams do tend to take a really long time here. We're going to go for the Cichlid first. We're going to throw the skill 3 onto the Grego. Nice, we land it. He's not going to do too much damage now. Now we're going to target the Miang here for the pushback. We do land the pushback and a provoke. We're going to switch onto the Cichlid now. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to go for the greedy play and try to kill her. Of course, the Miang is going to heal up. But we're going to target her anyways. We get the kill onto the Cichlid. And this one should be a win. Honestly, I really like this defense with the Grego in it. Is it that great? Probably not. But I just like Grego as a unit. I do think he needs a little bit of a buff. His pass is really cool. He does a lot of damage. But this team is just way too OP on offense. It's just going to nerf him like crazy. The one thing that I like about him is that you could build him anti-Lucian. And he'll survive and solo your team. That's if he's on Vio and he has a decent amount of speed. Not too slow. We secure the win here with the Cha Cha GG's. We're going to hit another one of these Miang Cichlid Gregos with the same offense. If you want to see the runes, go back to the other ones, the exact same runes. We're going to target the Cichlid first. If we can land a defense break on the Miang, then we'll go for that. But since it's pretty much the same thing, I'm going to let this one play out and I'll see you guys at the end of this clip. This Grego was really tanky. He was probably anti-Lucian as he was taking a lot of hits from Royd with no problem. For this next one, we're going to hit this Chandra, Light Giselle, and Rakan. I kind of forgot to show the runes here, but I have my Lucian runes on my Belial, my typical Windy, and then I have a somewhat tanky-ish Camilla build. So the idea here is hopefully they're going to take a lot of procs and then the Belial is going to come back and snipe some stuff. Should be safe for the most part. I don't remember this Light Giselle hitting too hard. But we're going to go for the Chandra first, then the Light Giselle, and then leave the Vercon for last. But for the most part, this should be a really safe team. I like bringing in Belial into the teams where they're going to get a lot of procs. This is the perfect team for it because the Chandra can use skill 2 to skill 3. Vercon can use skill 2 to skill 3. It's super satisfying to see the Belial come back and snipe something. Alright, here he is. We're going to go for a skill 2 snipe onto the Chandra. There he goes. He's going to come back down. We're going to speed it up a little bit until he's back. Alright, he died a few times, but he's finally back. We secured the kill onto the Rakan. 
And now we just gotta kill the light Giselle. I think her name is Audrey. Might be wrong. All right, we secured the kill, GG's. On to the next one where we have the blurry clip and we're gonna double snipe this team. We're gonna snipe the Manon and then the Dominic and then hopefully this person does a proc like crazy. All right, we're gonna boost up here. We should be able to snipe this Manon, no problem. Nice, yes we do. Then we're gonna go for the Dominic here. And then it's a 3v1 up against the Perna. Again, sorry for it being blurry. It decided to record in portrait mode rather than landscape mode my phone's kind of messing up but i zoomed in on it so you could kind of see what was going on or else you wouldn't have been able to see it and we should have this one in the bag and no problem okay the pern is not proccing either yeah we're gonna go for the skill to snipe and there we go on to the next one we're gonna hit this miang cichlid and vitra this time we're gonna use the Rakuni variant of this team and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to target the Cichlid, Miang, and then leave Vitra for last. I have to say this is probably one of the more annoying defenses to deal with right now. Because the Vitra is super, super annoying. Whether he's on Violent or Despair. Luckily, we landed a defense break on the Miang. The Cichlid cleanses it off. We're going to switch targets to the Cichlid. Okay, we're going to boost up the Roid. We do a pretty good amount of damage. We actually secure the kill onto her. That's a 3v2. And we should be fine, even though the Vitra does have a defense break and a branding, I believe. Okay, he stuns us up. He's being really annoying. See what I mean by him being annoying? We're gonna go ahead and cleanse. Go for the Miang here. Boost up the Roid. And here we have another win. GG's. Now we have this other attack. We're gonna use a double snipe team. It is a little bit blurry. The Covenant should be moving first. We're gonna snipe the Manon and then... With the Fire Cassandra, we're going to snipe the Nora, and then we should be able to kill the Momo, I'm hoping. Now, I can't remember if I was about to board the plane, and that's why I was double sniping. So, I was just trying to get these attacks done as soon as possible. We do 63k on the Manon, and then we go on to the Nora, I believe. Okay, yeah, we went on to the Nora, we sniped the Nora, now it's a 3v1. And we should be fine to kill this Momo with the Fire Cassandra since she gets that skill 2 up pretty quickly. And we should have it up right now. Perfect. And we secure another win here. GG's. And we secured the Tenno in the Siege. Not too bad. Fortunately, the recordings kind of sucked. And then we have Grumpy Gramps in the number one spot. Pure Mage in second, followed by Okawa. Then I'm in like fourth place. We do end up losing the Siege, this is where the quality comes back. We have Grumpy Gramps in the number one spot, followed by Pure Mage 69 and then Okawa in number 3. Now let's go ahead and open up the trophy boxes, see if we can get anything good. Huchu got a legendary scroll, let's see if we can get anything good from this one. Alright, we get 150 crystals, not too bad. I'll take it. I've been trying to save my crystals up. I've been spending them a lot lately. A lot of those events and passes have just been eating up my crystals, especially with the farming recently. And then here are some of the boxes that my guildies got, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will be posting another Siege video tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.